If you want to speed up your WordPress website but have no coding skills or technical knowledge, then this video is for you. In this video, we will work on this beautiful looking yoga website. It contains lots of sections, elements, and all useful website functionalities. Then go to the website of WP Rocket. I will leave the link in the description. This is the easiest way to speed up your website using just a few clicks. On the features page, you will find the list of features it offers. So let's check the pricing plan of it. For a single website, it will cost only $59. The growth plan will cost $199 and you can use it on 10 websites. On multi-plan, it will cost only $299 and you can use it on 50 websites. If you have more websites then you need to click the drop down menu. This plan is great value for money and suitable for agencies. So log into your WordPress dashboard. Before starting any optimization, I suggest you take a complete backup of your website. Go to Appearance then Theme section. If you find any inactive theme then I suggest you delete that theme. It will save your server resources. On plugin section there are some unused plugin. We should delete those and use less plugins as possible for best practice. Then click add new plugin and we need to upload the WP rocket. It will install and then we need to activate it. So once it's active WP rocket will show in the top bar and we can go to the settings options from there. Now we have to configure our WP Rocket plugin. You can see the interface of this plugin is so simple and clean. The first option is File Optimization. We will click Minify CSS files from here. It removes white space and comments so it will reduce the file size. Then the next option is Optimize CSS Delivery and I suggest you select Remove Unused CSS from here. It will reduce page size and HTTP requests. For any reason, if this option does not work for your website then choose Load CSS Asynchronously. Then let's check the website's front page and refresh it. If everything works fine then move on to the next steps. Then we will minify JavaScript files. It will work same as minify CSS. Then we will select Load JavaScript Deferred and Delay JavaScript Execution. It will delay all JS file until user interaction. As we will use this feature so no need to combine JS files. Then check your website again. If any element or functionality does not work then we can exclude that part with just one click. On the media part, you can select all the options you find here. Those will lazy load your images and optimize your all images best possible ways. If any image is not shown above the fold then copy the file name and can exclude the image. The next is preload settings. Click active preloading and enable link preloading. Those settings will preload other pages before your visitor visits those pages. If you scroll bottom of this page then you will find to prefetch external links and preload fonts as well. Next option is advanced rules. Website cache lifespan is set to zero. If you post blog or update your website regularly then you can put 10 hours there. If you don't want to cache any specific page like checkout, cart then you can exclude it from cache. Cleaning your unused database is a great option to reduce the database size. For a safe option, it's better to take a backup first. You can select all options and click save changes and optimize. You can also schedule automatic cleanup like weekly or monthly based on your needs. On the CDN tab, you can enable CDN here. If your visitors are from all over the world then it's a good feature to use. WP Rocket has its own CDN offer $8 per month. If you use any other CDN you can add that CDN C name here as well. On the heartbeat option, you can enable control heartbeat. 
If you use any shared hosting then choose Reduce Activity from the drop-down. On Add-ons tab, you will find lots of options to extend features. Here you can enable WebP image and integrate Cloudflare as well. The next step is image optimization. We will use a Magify plugin and configure it. Click Install. Then can see the options on top. Click Sign Up, it's free. Enter your email and click Sign Up. You have received the API key in your email. Just copy the key and come back to WordPress. Click I have my API key then paste the API key and click connect me. You can keep all settings same. Just click display images in next gen format on the site. You can add theme folder as well. Then scroll bottom and click Save Changes or Bulk Optimization. For a small website, the free plan of Imagify is good enough, it optimizes 20 MB per month. For a larger website you can go paid plan of it. There are a few more settings left on WP Rocket. Go to the Tools option and click Enable Mobile Cache. If you use Google Font on your website then enable Google Font Optimization. It will improve font performance and reduce the number of HTTP requests. Now we are all done and get our best settings of WP Rocket and configure a Magify plugin as well. If you want can export the current settings from here. I hope you liked the video. Please smash a like and subscribe to this channel. Feel free to watch our other popular video. See you on the next one.